Hey everybody, what's going on? I pray that all is well with you all on this Sunday. Just jumping on to like chitter chat with you guys. Um, share a little bit about what I've been doing. Um, I told you guys earlier in previous videos about the um, withdrawals and deposits 21 day devotional journal that I have written. Um, with that, it's just scriptures and daily quotes that God has given me um, throughout the day. And he gives them to me and I found scriptures that matches the quotes. And then there's lines where you can journal. You let the stuff deposit into you and then you withdraw on the lines here. Um, if you would like to purchase these. You will be able to purchase um, on my website really, really soon. I have a website coming really, really soon. Um, I'll get back on to tell you about that soon when it happens. Um, the website will actually be dropping this Saturday along with my other book, What is Several Projects to a Queen. Um, this devotional journal can be purchased Um for $12, I will put my PayPal link in the description box below. And um, the What's Up Apology to a Queen can be purchased as well. And I'll come back on and do another video and update you guys about all of that. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I've been really um, busy, but busy in a good way. And I'm also working on a... Um, all disabled fashion show with a collaboration with Avid Boutique. Um, a lot of you guys have been reposting um, information regarding that because I have been sending it to some of you. Some of you have been um, supporting me in other ways. Shout out to you all for that. Um, our sister Mika, thank you so much for your support. Constance, Greg, Randy, all of you guys that supported this ministry as it's growing and changing. Um, but the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about today was it's a couple little different things. Um, honestly, um, when it comes to God being a provider, God's provision does not always mean financial. And sometimes we get that so stuck in our mind that, yes, God is a provider. Yes, he's going to pay my bills. Yes, he's going to do that. Yes, we know God is going to, you know, do those things, set that up so that that can happen. But God being a provider can send, be him sending someone your way that is willing to help you by using their time, their talents, and their gifts. So we need to be grateful for all the things that God provides, not just the monetar monetarily provisions. Because when the um, monetary gifts fade, we're going to have to have other things to check back into our faith file about. And also, wanted to chat with you guys. Um, the title of today's Sunday School lesson was actually that God is a provider. And y'all know I'm always talking about the ram in the bush. Y'all know that's one of my favorite things to say. And um, this Sunday School lesson was talking about when Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac and they found the ram in the bush. Um, and it also just showed great faith. Like, Abraham was able to tell his two servants that me and Isaac will be back. Y'all stay here. Me and Isaac will be back. He was already speaking it as though it was because his faith and his trust and his love for God 
was so strong and so intimate that even though this child that God had promised him that was going to be, you know, the blessing, the blessing. See, he was willing to sacrifice his child because his love for God and his faith and his obedience was that strong that he knew that God was going to do, come on, hold the camera up, that God was going to do what it is that he said he was going to do and that his word never comes back void. How many of us can honestly say that our faith is that strong, that we are continuously speaking things as though they were, that we're claiming them? Um, my husband actually wrote on top of our one of our bills, paid in full. And I looked at the bill and I said, you paid this already? And he said, no, I just wrote paid in full because I know we're going to pay it in full. Speaking things as though they were. Faith is an action word. We have to put, like I said before, we have to put feet to the faith. Not just words to the faith. Feet to the faith. Not just um, quoting scriptures to the faith. Feet to the faith. You can know as many scriptures as you want, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. Because I'm actually going through and rereading the book of Proverbs day by day. But you have to have it in your heart. It has to be inside of you so that it can come out of you. Um, what else was I going to say to y'all? My mind is just everywhere. And then another thing that I wanted to talk to you all about, which I always talk to you guys about, is the power of prayer. Prayer works. Prayer works. Prayer changes. But you have to believe in what you're praying for. You can't pray for it, then worry about it. Pray about it. Give it to God. Let him be God. You can only do what you can do. And you have to let God do the rest. One of the um, pastors at the church today said that we only have um, the obedience of where we are and what we're being taught at that moment. And in order to continue to strive to be obedient and have this intimate relationship with God, we have to spend time with him, which means studying his word, praying to him, and all of those things. So I encourage you all, as always, to put feet to your faith. If he's giving you something, do it. Everybody's not going to understand it. That's granted. Everybody's not going to be able to go with you. That's granted. Just like with the Isaac and Abraham thing. It was Isaac, Abraham, and the two servants. They started off. The servants had to be left behind. So with this thing we call life and this thing we call faith, we are going to get put in uncomfortable places. Uncomfortable position. That's what I was going to talk to you guys about. Thank you, guys. Um, and then after this, I'm going to go. Because it's going to go into one of those videos. I know sometimes I get to go on. Um, faith takes courage. Because to truly have faith and operate in faith, you're going to be put in 
uncomfortable places, uncomfortable positions. You're going to lose people. You're going to gain people. But keep standing on your faith. Keep standing strong on your faith. So walk in that courage, tighten up that courage belt, and keep operating in that faith. And keep trusting God and listening for his voice, heeding to his warnings, heeding to his directions. Um, Let him continue to order your steps, your path. Continue to pray to him about the dreams and the visions and the businesses and everything that he has given you. Until next video, guys, be blessed, be encouraged, keep praying, keep fighting. Smiling, keep worshiping, keep standing, keep encouraging each other, keep one another lifted, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Be blessed.